The streets of Charleston, South Carolina are lined with historic houses. Some predate the Revolutionary War. Today, after 10 months of restoration, one of these historic gems is reoccupied. We'll see if the builder lived up to the demands of a city that wants to preserve its heritage. What happened to all this plumbing here? I've never seen anything like this before. There's already rot going on in that trunk. So what have you found up here? Well, a bit of a surprise. It's really the classic plumber's lament. Nice. This one right here is right on. Ooh, and the smell just changed. That's bad guano. Oh, lovely. Now it's your turn to save it for the next generation. <laughs> the money's in the detail. That is beautiful. Okay, Tommy, big day for us here in Charleston, South Carolina, as we turn one of these houses over to our homeowners. Yeah, you know what? It's an old house that needed a lot of work. It was pretty neglected. So our house was built in the 1840s in the Charleston single style, all out of brick. And we had two buildings, actually. We had the, the cookhouse out back and then the main house up front. There were a lot of things that had to be done. I mean, we had to remove a lot of the plaster. We had to repair a lot of the plaster, fix the floors, did some new cabinetries, some new windows, right. a lot of work. But we had a, a good crew to help us out. Mark Rigobuto and his guys were terrific. And don't forget, we've got the crew from the American College of the Building Arts who are here this morning with their new iron gates. That was great, too. I'm going to go see Kathleen and Scott inside. Right. So, Jack, how you doing? Good to see you. Hi, Tony. Joe, Kaylin. Good to see you. So, you're ready to install the gates today? We sure hope so. Well, how did you get started? Well, these posts are joined by a beam underneath and rebar cage around it, all set in the ground and with concrete over it. So, the, those posts can't sag over time. So, there's a lot of work that can't be seen out That's there. right. <laughs> all right. We had a long day here. <laughs> I bet you did. And the gates are all assembled. They're beautiful. I remember the last time I saw them in the shop, you guys were just putting the pieces together, showing me how it was going to go. Yeah, exactly. And I think this was one of the first pieces that we saw you make right here. Yeah, this is uh, one of the heels that we made. And this is, unlike the ones that we made, doesn't actually have a tenon. These are welded just because of the design, the construction of the skate. These joints. Nice job welding mm -hmm. this up here. This is a beautiful piece right here. Yep. A lot of handwork. Yeah, what do you call these rings? Oh, these are collars, so just a piece of bar with that shape around it, and then you get it hot and clamp it around there. And if you measure everything correctly and file everything right, it'll overlap each other and be seamless. Wow, this is gonna last a long time. Now these were tenons. Mm -hmm. We come down to this twist that I saw you make, which was pretty cool, and another tenon here. Uh, I see these aren't welded. That's right, we have uh, rivets going through. So you can see the heads on the bottom side here, but we countersunk them to get a clean line on the top. Oh, that's clever. Nice, nice and flush, beautiful job. So what's the first step in setting these? What we're gonna do is take each leaf of the gate and place it inside the frame and clamp it together as one unit and then find where it lives and place the hinges. All right, well, I can't wait to see it get started. Yeah. That's good. Let's bring it over here. Nice, Harry. All right, now we need to lift up. There we go. And we get this started. Okay. There we go, now that pin. Nice. We're in. Got it. What we'll need to do is get that first hinge welded in on the other side and adjust it from there. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's see how they open. I gotta say, these gates are absolutely beautiful. I know you have a little more fine tuning to do on them, but you guys did a fantastic job. You really should be proud. Thanks, Thank Tommy. You. Want to tackle all your home improvement projects with confidence? Join This Old House Insider, 
a new streaming service from this old house, the iconic Emmy-winning series that inspired a generation of home enthusiasts. Stream over 1,000 episodes of This Old House and Ask This Old House commercial free. Watch it all in the This Old House app and join live online Q&As with our experts. Best of all, you can try Insider free for seven days. To join, go to thisoldhousemembership.com. Ten months ago, our homeowners told us about their dream to move back into the city and fix up this old house. And Kathleen and Scott, this is the day. Are you yes. guys excited to, to be in the city and to be in your new house? Absolutely. Yeah, we're thrilled. It's great. It's a long road. I mean, when we first got here, you needed a lot of imagination when you saw what was here to get to this point. A lot. <laughs> yes. So let's talk about some of your decisions. Sure. Um, the first one was, in this room, there was a, I don't even know what it was, it was linoleum floor covering. And you said that had to come up. You wanted to save the original pine floors, uh, which we're looking at right here. Yes, we just love them distressed like this. Um, we think it gives it a lot of character. It shows the age. Okay. The other big decision was all of the plaster in the house. It yeah. wasn't in good condition. Right. It could have been repaired or replaced. You guys said, nope, let's take it all down and expose this brick. We pulled the plaster off and um, we had to repoint the brick. And after that was done, Mark suggested that we do it really all over and we just love the look and we decided just to go with his recommendation and I'm, I'm really pleased with the result. I think it's really neat. Definitely makes a statement. That had a couple consequences. When the plaster came off we lost about an inch of depth right here That's right. so that meant we needed to have these returns and that gives some big beefy dimension to these window openings but it also meant that you had to figure out what you're gonna do with the ceiling because that was plaster as well. It was. We put a false pine ceiling with a whitewash and, and above that is a, some rigid insulation and then above that is a chase for electrical wire. So it serves its purpose and I think it looks really good. How do you feel about the exposed joists? I mean, you can actually see the nail holes and the old lath yeah, marks. Yeah, I think it's really neat. It gives a lot of character, which is why we bought an old house in the first place. So I think it's great. I, I love it. You guys have definitely put your mark on this place. And I want to see more of it with you. Sure. But I first want to see the mark you put on the backyard as well. Absolutely. So enjoy. Okay. Sounds great. Thank Thanks. you. So Roger, over the past week we've made a ton of progress with the garden. We're almost done. Hey Roger, hey Glenn. Hey, hey. Kev. Well, I do love coming through that gate. That thing looks terrific from the front. Yeah, well the front may look nice, but out back, that's where the money gets spent. <laughs> the, it, that, that's very true, but at the same time we want to make sure that the side of the house on the, on the side of the piazza is both functional and attractive to look at. So the driveway here can be parked on, driven on, but you can also use it for entertaining or put dining tables down it. And you can look down from the piazza and, and see something that is more than just a driveway. Love the brick. What's the material in the middle? Uh, crushed oyster shell, which uh, is not only local, but the water can also run through it. Must be pretty easy to come by. Right. So as we come into the garden, Roger, the idea is with all these gardens downtown, we try to have a series of rooms. So right now the, the hallway, basically, is on axis with the driveway. We have a planter here as a focal point. And your room opens right up here. It opens right up into the dining room, which is located right off the dining room in the kitchen of the house. We have got brick all over this house. You've got it on the driveway and these walkways right here. I mean, this stuff looks awesome. Yeah. This is a handmade brick. So it's a new brick, but it fits really well in an old setting. Love it. So the camellia is here at the end of the... Uh, dining area that sort of separates us from the the pool room of the garden and look at this This is awesome yeah so the one of the first meetings we had here on the site was to ask can we fit a pool here on the property and the answer was you can't have an olympic sized pool but this small dipping pool absolutely works for a family what's the stone right here i mean it looks like our blue stone but it's a little shinier yeah it's a blue marble and we've wow. used that blue marble for the coping on the pool and for the living area where the lounge chairs go over here for sunning. Now I recognize this, this is a magnolia and you've got it espaliered or flattened right up against the wall and it's gonna get really tall in there. Yep, exactly, and the height of that will help be balanced by the height of the pendo palm over on the far wall that was brought in to give us some scale against that big brick wall over there. So it looks terrific now. When is it gonna look spectacular when it's all lush and grown in? You know, it'll grow a lot this summer and fill in, but within the next year, it probably needs 12 or 13 months and it will be a fully grown garden. Pretty magnificent. Looks spectacular, you nailed it. Thank you. 
Now you can watch this old house and ask this old house anytime, anywhere. Download our new app to stream full episodes to your tablet, your TV, and your phone. Binge on classic episodes, catch up on recent renovations, and get step-by-step -step help projects all around the house. Best of all, it's free. The most trusted home improvement information is now available on your Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, iOS, and Android devices. Download the This Old House streaming app today. Behind the main house is this kitchen house, and it used to be a solid brick wall, but we came through that, built this staircase, Mark, because we want to get up here. This is going to be Abby's bedroom when she's home from college, and it has come a long way from what it was. It's a remarkable transformation. Remember, we had the center stair here, oh, yeah. which we've now taken out. All new reclaimed pine floors. Love it. Redid the brick. All new custom windows. Right. In fact, all the windows in this part of the house had to be custom ordered to meet the strict requirements of the Board of Architecture Review. They fit right in. Absolutely. Because they also, in addition to Abby's bedroom, wanted it to be a flex space, they opted for one of these fabulous Murphy beds. That is terrific. And the couch is actually part of that whole package it's right It's part there. of the system. So when Abby's not here, it's essentially a guest suite, I mean, with a complete uh, full bathroom in there. Complete full bathroom, really modern. Pine on the floors, tile in the uh, shower, lots of glass, I love it. In Charleston, we call this connecting room the hyphen. On the right, we have our storage. On the left, our laundry and our stair leading down to the dining room. One of my favorite rooms in the house, and partly thanks to you, Bill, um, you drew the original concept for this table. Mm -hmm. And I was actually fortunate enough to see Justin dive into the river, pull this log out, slab it, dry it, and then make it into what it is today. And this thing is amazing. Beautiful sinker cypress. You guys picked a really good one. Uh, the grain is so wonderful, and the Edwards decided to go with the live edge to accentuate that. You had originally thought it was going to be a straight cut here, but you just everyone fell in love with that I edge. did. I, I like this better. It's okay. beautiful. Same beautiful. material for the uh, wet bar. Same material for the bar top and the bar uh, backsplash. And then uh, up on the trunk, the grain's a little finer. Use these for the upper cabinets. Justin and his guys did a great job. They and did. Mark, underneath, originally we had termite damage. We had rot to the original floor in here. Um, and now we've got a whole new system. We took it all out. Poisoned the soil to prevent termite infestation in the future. Put a moisture barrier down. Put a slab of concrete down. And then these restored remilled heart pine flooring. Which were not in the house, but they look like they have always been there, which is terrific. All right, and you remember this fireplace. <laughs> Did a lot of work to it, rebuilt it, kept all the brick exposed, fully functional, ready to go. And that's gonna have a gas insert, uh, exposed brick, and exposed ceiling, Bill. Yes, exposed ceiling with a lime wash finish. That lighter color really sets off the wood graining and the brick. Great design, Bill. Perfect execution, Mark. I have seen the homeowner's smiles, and they're as broad as they can be. Nice job, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Kevin. Now, I know the city of Charleston doesn't allow exterior storm windows on these old buildings, so we've chosen an interior storm window with a compression weather stripping. Now, the beauty of this is we can keep this storm window in from the exterior pane of glass, which created a wider airspace, which is great for quieting the noise outside. And that's great for us because this is a relatively busy street. Yeah, well, they'll definitely make a difference. Well, up here on the second floor, this library really came out nice. I love the exposed brick, the wainscoting, and I had a hand on helping to strip this mantle. I think it came out nice. What do you think? It came out great. We actually have two other mantles. We weren't able to have the wood tone because they were so damaged. Well, this has got a nice patina to it. Yes. Let's take a look at the piazza. Okay. And this is a great place to sit when you want to come out and relax and get the air. I love the white batten ceiling with the blue sky between each one. That was the original design on both uh, porches and we kept it that way. It looks great. And this is our master bedroom. Came out great. Better than we could have even hoped. It's beautiful. I like the exposed brick here and fireplace in the bedroom. These big old beams up here, those are fake beams, really just to hide the plumbing and it's a great solution. Boy, I remember that old scuzzy bathroom that was up here. It's now a beautiful walk-in closet. Yes. And look at this bathroom. Wow, this is beautiful. The vanities, a bathing room, shower, great, all behind glass, and a toilet right here. I gotta say, this whole second floor really came out beautiful. What a place to live in. We love it.
Across town, we're working on another house, and this was in a lot tougher shape than our single. In fact, it's probably the worst shape we've ever had as a starting point in all the years of this old house. But we've made great progress. Look at this, brand new siding. I love the color. And I don't know if you remember that roof, but there was an old metal roof up there covered in ivy, filled with holes, and it's been replaced by a hand-crimped aluminum roof. These front porches needed to be completely rebuilt. You can see brand new structure right here. You can see this column that's in temporarily. It'll be replaced by the original column that'll look terrific. They also tried to reuse as much of the old material as they could. Here's some of the old beadboard here at the ceiling level. They matched it with new stuff. That'll be painted light blue. The rest will be trimmed. It'll look great. So now the entire house has been insulated. You can see the stone wool right here, these bats. And they've done not only the outside walls, but every ceiling and interior petition for sound abatement. Up here on the second floor, they've gotten to drywall, and that's always an exciting part of the project. This is a guest bedroom. You can see they still have to tape and seam all this. Uh, here's the closet. A nice little fireplace here in the bedroom, which would be great. Bed will go here, a bathroom here, and what's not to love about this? A beautiful porch to sit and have a morning cup of coffee. Progress continues in the master bedroom. Look at this place. This is the study. You can see a fireplace right here. That'll be great. A walk-in closet. Sleeping area right here, and look at this bathroom. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful bathroom. A freestanding tub right here in the window. A private toilet space, private shower. Look at the arches here. Great detail. And a couple of lavatories here. This place is going to be great. When we first arrived at this house, we were greeted by the unforgettable sight of this first floor living room. Jammed with stuff, peeling paint. The floors were rotted. Now we're ready for drywall. We've got the floors rebuilt. The fireplaces have been repointed. Look at this mantle, it's gonna go back into play right here. These doors are gonna be pocket doors right here, it's been framed in. And once the drywall goes into the kitchen, we'll be ready for cabinets. Hello, Judith, how Richard, are you? Welcome. How are nice you? Nice to be back. Good to see you. So this was originally the kitchen here, That's right? That's right. And we ripped it all down. All down, right now it's gonna be a mother-in-law suite for my mother, Nora. Cool. This is a general seating area and living area. There's a closet there, Perfect. this massive bathroom for her. <laughs> nice. And of course, this is a piece de resistance. What is this? This is my old grandma Ollie's screen door, which is on the front porch. We're going to put it back here so my mother can enjoy her piazza. Well, isn't that nice to connect with history here? Oh, man, this is a special door. My grandmother literally had right. it open every day, and she was such an effusive person. Right. So it's lovely so, to have it. So we didn't quite make the finish line. There was a lot of work here. It was a lot, more than we understood, but we, we're close. Yep. We're nearly there, so right. we're grateful. Very right. grateful to you and all. Are you happy? Too. I couldn't be happier. Uh, well, being finished would make me happier, <laughs> but we're grateful. It's amazing. We're pleased. It's going to be a beautiful house well, great. again. Well, I've got to get back to our single, but we promise we're going to come back and see this finished product someday, okay? Thank you. I'm going to hold you to all it. All right, great. Thank honey. you. See you. Scott and Kathleen, the kitchen, typically the room that the homeowners get most excited about. Is that the case for you guys? Absolutely. I cook a lot, so it's important. Right. So um, originally, this was what, the dining room, formal dining room? Yes. That's a challenge, right? Because you guys had some ideas of what you wanted to save and what you wanted That's to right. get rid of. You know, um, we had a fireplace here with a mantle that I really wanted to preserve. And we just went round and round with different designs, and we could not make it work. And then Mark uh, came up with a compromise to save the chimney space and use it as a vent and put the range there. And Modern day fireplace right. right here. Exactly. Right? So yes. there's your yeah. heat. Okay. Yes. Love the giant island. I mean, this thing is a nice working island seating area as well. Your choice of materials is? Quartz. Quartz. Look at that. So this is where you start to get that sort of sleek look. And something you told us early on, Kathleen, you wanted a modern, clean look in here. Absolutely. That was really important to have the clean lines, mm -hmm. very minimalistic. And so minimalistic, I don't even know where the refrigerator is. <laughs> where is it? Right. Is Actually, the refrigerator is right over here. Come on. Really? Oh, that's terrific. Yes. So it looks like a big bank of cabinets, but that's the fridge. Is this freezer on this side? Nope, actually, the freezer's right over here. Really? Yes. Unconventional. All right, I like it. Yes. So that's sort of just monolithic right there. And as we sweep around... Minimal cabinets, no hardware, so we have a very sleek look. Mm -hmm. And over here we've got seating. Um, I expect we'll have breakfast here, maybe some casual dinners. We'll get a lot of use out of this. It's beautiful enough. I think you can get a lot. Yeah, let me show you the porch. I'd love to see that. So Kevin, we love this piazza. It took a lot of work, 
Um, and we're going to get a lot of good use out of this. I love that we preserve the original columns. I love the patina. And it looks old, because it is old, and I think it's great. And look at this view. Well, yeah, this is what it's all about, right, huh? This is Southern Living right here. And here comes the rest of the family and the crew. So 10 months after you guys first laid eyes on the house, any final thoughts? It's been great. It's been a fun project, and the final result has exceeded our wildest dreams. I really want to thank this old house and our builder, Mark, and mm -hmm. Bill, and Glenn, and everyone who worked on the house and contributed. It's been fantastic. Yeah, we can't wait to move in. Well, you guys have been great to work with. You put together a terrific team for us. We love our time here in the city, and we love the fact that this is now all wrapped up. So for all of us here at this old house, that is a wrap in Charleston, South Carolina. What do you say, boys? Ready for a party? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Make sure you have Scott, Kathleen, congrats. Greg, well done. Let's have ourselves a wrap party. All right. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.